blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice, and looking down. No, I, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I, I can't perish now. Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want to smooch ya. Eh? What? Oh, damn, Cthulhu is thick. I mean, she's got a face like low tide at the pier, but like, we're just one paper bag away from happily clapping Eldritch cheeks. What's up, guys? Welcome to Sucker for Love, a game that's all about dating Cthulhu. Now, I know there are a lot of people out there who are very interested in Cthulhu. You know, they want to read about it, play games about it. I've never known anyone who wants to stick their dick in it. But that being said, I've seen like 60 seconds of this game and was immediately impressed. I don't normally like visual novels, but like, I can really only describe it as being like Doki Doki, but with voice acting instead of reading, and actual gameplay instead of reading. So I think people are really gonna like it. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the Deep Ones wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Nothing quite like insanity and terror to punch your ticket to Bonerville. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I got really wrapped up in the occult, dumped paycheck after paycheck on trinkets and spellbooks to no avail. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Yeah, something. What do you guys think? FedEx guy or WAP Cthulhu? I know what I'm hoping for. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Couldn't you just, like, hit her up on ICQ or water slide into her DMs. What whatever kids are doing these days, you know? Eldritch gods are really making you work for it. This is ridiculous. Why is she playing hard to get? Finally, I'll... Uh... Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? This is what she says. It's supposed to be an ancient book or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. I got scammed again! With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Because, as we all know, the more money you spend on something, the realer it gets. <laughs> That's why there are so many Nigerian princes trying to contact me right now. Great! No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby, seriously. What a strange scam though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think no one would notice their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? <laughs> Wait, is this simple on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilded in gold too. And this waist, Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Weird. I I'm just really hoping this isn't Cthulhu's diary because she would not be happy if we ended up reading that. Maybe I'll take a look inside. What did I just say? <laughs> All right then, we're just gonna take a look. We might also want to get rid of some of this stuff. I I'm just saying, if we summon her, we probably don't want a poster of her dad and a mask of her face. That might freak her out a little bit. The calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, 
turn off your overhead lights. Book, you just showed up to my room. How do you know the specifics of things? <laughs> That's a little weird. In the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant Lynette. Okay, so we're gonna set the mood, put on some jewelry that she would appreciate, and then give her a call. This is a decent plan. I can appreciate this. So we're gonna get dressed to the nines, close the curtains so that the neighbors can't judge us. We'll turn down the bulbs and turn up the mood lighting. Maybe put on some soft jazz or the howls of the damned, whatever she's into. And then we chant. Lynette. Was my pronunciation off? Oh, I see now. That's embarrassing. Okay, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Okay, play it cool. Play it cool. We're chanting. It's ringing. We're chanting. Mortal. Oh God! It actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me, an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken me and brought about the end of reality? Anime titties, should we say that? <laughs> I can't talk, I can't even breathe. Probably for the best, to be perfectly honest. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I, I can't perish now. Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. No, I want to smooch you. Eh? What? Oh, damn, Cthulhu is thick. I mean, she's got a face like low tide at the pier, but like, we're just one paper bag away from happily clapping Eldritch cheeks. <laughs> I, I can't believe that actually worked and it, she seems disgusted in me. I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Oh, trust me, I'm being driven mad. It's about to burst through my pants any second now. I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Excuse me? Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Am I really so creepy that a girl won't even destroy my existence? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know much about Cthulhu, but I do know a lot about anime chicks, and I'll tell you right now, she is displaying a lot of negative body language, which means we need to recover this, and fast. Uh, uh, listen, okay, I, I think the two of us got off on the wrong foot. You do have feet, don't you? It, it, it doesn't matter, okay? I shouldn't have called you a butterface when you first arrived. That's my bad, I apologize, but... You should know, I don't have thousands of years, so could you destroy my existence now, please? <laughs> but I'll be long dead by then! Exactly! Oh... Your know, words hurt, too! Hey, you know, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book! The least you could do is... We don't want to take that tone with the Eldritch Gods, okay? <laughs> and don't mention the book! Are you out of your damn mind? So don't show her that. Where'd you get that book? Or do... What, what do I know? You're actually kind of cute. Huh? What? This? Uh, I bought it online. I, I know, I know. Funny looking Necronomicon, right? It's not a Necronomicon. Well, yeah, I, I, I gathered that much. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? The kind you send thousands of dollars worth of iPhone gift cards to Nigerian princes for? <laughs> There's something about a squid-faced monster with tig-ass bitties and a whale tail looking down on me and calling me silly that makes every synapse in my brain question whether or not I should feel afraid, turned on, or belittled. God, she's cute, but what's with the sudden personality change? Yeah, she was disgusted in us a couple of seconds ago, and now it's almost like she wants something from us. 
that has to do with the book. Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? Please don't say diary, please don't say diary, please don't say diary. It's a survival guide. Oh. For what? For dating me. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, I would like to both date and survive, so this sounds like a great plan. What? Really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I'm all for using protection when in a committed relationship, so sure! I struck gold! I would have paid double for this! Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh, trust me, my mind isn't what I'm worried about having snapped. Can I please just loosen my belt or something? <laughs> Gulp! Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. Oh, I, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I've only been making those jokes this entire time. <laughs> oh, you'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. Wait, wh why, why do we care about smooching her? It's the one part of her that wouldn't really work out all that well. I'm really confused right now. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. W will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. What? You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? I thought I was getting into you, but... <laughs> now I'm not entirely sure. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, if the world is gonna end either way, deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? Invoke the depths, huh? Is, is that like a wine and dine ritual? Are we gonna go see a movie or something like that? Oh, no, you're just gonna go sit on my bed. And she doesn't have feet. Would you look at that? <laughs> invoke the depths. Invoke the depths. In invoke the depths. Here we go. Okay, do not perform this ritual alone. Fortunately, I've got a couple hundred thousand people judging me right now, and Lynette is on the bed. Snuff all light from the room, turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant no 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 All right, that's easy enough, I suppose. So, do we want to cut all of the mood lighting? Blow at the candles as well? Jesus Christ, I didn't think they had an overdrive mode. <laughs> Out they go. And then we're gonna hit the lights again. Turn on the sink. Okay. I think everything is set, so we chant. You hear this? Is, is this good? Not quite the date I had expected, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Oh, sweet home. Uh, wait, what? Are we? What did I just do? You brought the Outer Depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. I can barely hear you over the deafening sink. Could I just go turn that off? What do you mean our connection is stronger? I didn't feel a thing! The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Your true form? Is your true form curvier? Because that seems impossible. <laughs> Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. That wasn't an answer. Okay. Just go sit over there. I'm, I'm gonna get the sink. Don't want to waste water here in the creepy, staticky dark. Uh. Okay, that's a little weird. I did notice that it says, do not look out your window from now on. And I just assumed that was because we didn't want the neighbors to see the terrible, terrible things we're gonna do to Lynetta, but 
<laughs> now I'm thinking it might be because their true form is out there. And it could be extra thick. So how about we just take a quick little peek. Okay. Too thick for my mind to handle, huh? <laughs> Interesting. It doesn't look like we're gonna be leaving this bedroom anytime soon, so I guess we're gonna perform metamorphosis. I don't like the sounds of that. Kinda looks like I'm about to transform myself into an eldritch god. Right, because like, I'm pretty sure Cthulhu is an individual. It's not a race or a species. Cthulhu is an eldritch god. Lynetta is probably also an eldritch god, similar to Cthulhu. And now it looks like I'm gonna become one? Maybe? It actually doesn't sound too bad if it's uh, stop existing or become a god. <laughs> Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling or invoke the depths. Yeah, okay, I, I got the pre-reading done, don't worry about it. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Trust me, book. <laughs> Waifu Squidward on my bed has me believing in anything right now. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Fair enough, I don't have a paper bag for her head. Ensure his image appears in no way, in poster or tapestry. So we want to take down the poster, but do you see what I mean? His image. So either Cthulhu is a separate individual, I made a joke earlier saying that it could be Lynetta's father, or she's actually Cthulhu. And he's just taking this form, knowing my weakness is anime, babes. I don't know how I feel about that either. <laughs> Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step on the previous page. When all is complete, chant... Okay, that doesn't sound too difficult. So, we want to put our necklace back on. How did that get taken off? Uh, we want the mask, and the knife, and I think we wanted a robe, and no lights. Oh, uh, remove you, okay. I think we're ready. Yeah, let's try chanting. Oh, why am I hearing stabbies? Who's getting the stabbies right now? Is it me? Oh, what? And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. Okay. You know, if you're trying to get me to be the same species, then I'm all for it. You know, now we can... Whatever you folks do with your mouths. <laughs> Something is not right. Yeah, it, it, it could be the tentacle arm... It could be the fact that we stabbed the shit out of our mannequin. Darling, Jesus. what are you looking at? The next page in the book you want me to be reading, we want. Oh, I feel like you just gave me heart palpitations. If I even still have one. Uh, you seem to be really paranoid. Okay, we're gonna have to lay down some ground rules. Like, if we're building a relationship, it needs to be a relationship of trust. So if I tell you that I was looking at a page for like two seconds and had enough time to read absolutely nothing, then you're just gonna have to believe me. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? No, I read nothing. We're also gonna have to work on our communication skills. Is that the truth? I honestly don't even know what the truth is anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? No, no, th th this is happy pee in my pants. Good. I know what page you were on. Care to fill me in? And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Oh. Okay. Good, good talk. G -g Great talk. What, can I look at it? I'm gonna look at it and hope she doesn't turn me inside out. What was she freaking out about? I need to perform prepare offering. Oh, this is a breakup spell. I see, or we can prepare offering. Interesting. So, the 
question is, have things gone too far to cut things off? I don't know if we're really committed yet. I know I technically turned myself into a weird squid monster, but at the same time, I was always told not to stick my dick in crazy, and that was a whole lot of crazy. This ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, and return you to reality in whatever state it's in. Let the room be well lit. Ensure- Oh god, there's the heart palps again. Break. Ensure this symbol is present nearby, and then chant three times. Okay, so we just gotta turn on all the lights, and then draw our little John Madden play-by-play -play and everything is gonna go back to normal? Don't mind me, dear! I, I just want to see your beautiful... figure? Yeah, we'll go with figure. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some football diagrams up real quick for us. And there we go. And then I chant... <laughs> Well, she wasn't lying. I don't think I got past the second word. Prepare offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. And chant... So, am I preparing a romantic dinner? Or sacrificing a virgin? Not entirely sure what I have in my fridge. Whatever it is, I've taken it out. Uh, we're gonna turn on all the lights. That's my comfort level. <laughs> and then we're gonna make sure to have the... Yo oh, wait, hold on. Take a step back, and I want you. Okay. I think we're hunky-dory. We could just chant. Hopefully you like this. That already smells delicious, darling. Oh, good. What are we having again? All it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Like what? Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay, then. We- Oh, she's gone now. Which means I can technically read this without her giving me the Jim Henson treatment. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Why is there always fine print to ruin my plan? Apparently she has to be here. I, I just can't let her hear me. Oh, I'm willing to bet I'm supposed to turn on the water while I do it. I even said that it was deafening earlier. Okay, so we'll remember this is a backup plan, but right now we need to reach into oblivion. Weird. This is better than having her reach into me. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Done. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Okay, a little Illuminati scribble. And then have another life form on your person. I mean, I've been trying to have another life form on my person this entire time, and she seems very reluctant. And then we chant. All right. So, we need our Illuminati scribbles, that's easy enough. We already have the knife and the robe, it's kind of part of us now, as well as the mask. Oh! Oh, no! I don't want to sacrifice Mr. Turtle! <gasps> Maybe he just needs to be nearby. Maybe I just need the power of friendship for this chant. Oh! Hey, I don't think the power of friendship just severed my finger. Ow! That doesn't look good. That looks extra not good. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. No, Mr. Turtle! Why did it have to be like this? Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's fine. Oh, no, he's dead. God damn it. Well, things are definitely happening. Okay. She's still out for her walk. I guess we'll just carry on. Hi. Really wasn't looking for a picture book right now. Can I get a summary of what that was? Oh, no, it's just you. You, 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 you. What lovely doodles. Great. Great, love it, wonderful. Okay, let's uh, escape reality. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Of course it is. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. 
Okay, do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Well aware of that. Do not turn on any lights, snuff any existing lights, or you will attract their attention. Okay, so I can have the lights on or off. I just don't need to mess with them. Just leave the lights where they are. I need to have the little scribbly thing, and then I chant. Okay, easy enough. Uh, I don't want to cover my ears. I'll need them. Okay. It's kind of hoping I could read ahead of the class, be a little prepared, considering I have three pages of work assigned to me, but evidently not. So I'm not even going to think about the lights. They're perfectly good where they are. We're going to go ahead and get our proper squiggle. Okay, and then we're going to chant. Right? Oh. How did I manage to get Mr. Turtle all over my mouth? Oh, uh, did the stupid... No light. Wait, you said... You said that I could have the light however I wanted. Oh, you liars. That doesn't look good. Okay. Probably shouldn't have snuffed existing lights. I think that may have pissed them off. Okay, yep, yep. Uh, Lynetta, the neighbors are acting up again. I feel concerned. We now need a cross. <laughs> yeah, something tells me Jesus isn't going to be all too happy about this. Come on, read faster, but not too fast. Good, good. Okay, great. Now, uh, we want the kind of Poseidon-y looking symbol. Come on, come on, come on, come on, where are you? There we go, and then we just chant until we believe we're safe. Don't feel safe, don't, don't feel safe. Okay, if she gets into your room, it's too late. Oh, she is coming, I didn't have time Darling, to read. what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. Any of that? Yeah, I was this close to getting the anime girl treatment. Okay, you're the anime girl in this relationship. Let's get that straight. <gasps> I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. The real world is one giant octopus? What? Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> I've been questioning that ever since I hit record. Oh, sweetie. Don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Am I not... Real? Is it because I'm an Eldritch God? You never did verify that. If you like, I can move you to the front of the line and end you painlessly. As thanks for waking me up, you wouldn't hear their screams anymore. When you hit me with an if you like, I, I think it's we're going to turn out the lights and then bang one out. But no, she just wants to end me. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Things such as? Being destroyed first or last. Which would you prefer? That they might have been darling. your things. No, 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 you're, you're, you're done talking. I'm tired of you threatening my reality and my existence. This is a toxic relationship. I want to use the breakup spell. Give me the breakup spell. She's gonna go sit down. I don't think I can even look at the breakup spell without getting yelled at. Okay, we're just gonna keep going with Dark Communion. Really feels like we're starting to take things seriously now. Do not attempt this ritual without performing prepared offering. Reach to, yeah, okay, I, I did the pre-reading. We stopped screening me. Let the room be well lit. Not a problem. Wear no robes or necklaces. Okay, get naked. Have the offering on your person. This could be construed as dirty. I like it. Okay, sure. So, we're... Stop it. Lennon, can you go talk to the neighbors, please? They're, they're being very nosy. I'm taking off my clothes. I'm gonna go... Oh, Mr. Turtle's okay. Weird, did we put all the blood back inside of him? Oh, wait a second. I, I forgot that I had a tentacle. How did I go from tentacle to cut up hands back to tentacle? I, I'm... Confused. Okay, well, we're well lit, right? Everything is, is well lit. We can now chant. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Oh, the offering was dinner. It wasn't a, a life form. For a second there, I thought she ate Mr. Turtle. I was about to be pissed. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. 
Oh. Pledging yourself to me. How would I do that, physically? Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. Something tells me humanity is not going to be too proud of me for selling them out for tig-ass biddies, but sure. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. That is not a sentence that I wanted to echo anywhere, nonetheless through oblivion. It shouldn't even be on the internet. The privilege is yours alone. Great. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Wouldn't know. I don't have any experience in that either. It's, it's not something that kind of happens. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you've been really stressed out. You know, you just, just go, go, go relax. Did you hit the lights for me, darling? Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Just, just gonna boop and, uh... Oop. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Now's our chance. Oh, for the love of Christ, the room needs to be well lit. I swear, if I turn these lights on and she wakes up, I am going to backflip into oblivion. <laughs> Just stay asleep, okay? By the power of John Madden, I demand a divorce. <laughs> I'm not inside out. That's a good start. Lynetta? Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. D did I really do it? D darling, why? <gasps> oh no. Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me. Oh, the rest of you was the best part. <laughs> acting kind of crazy you just didn't want to do any of the fun stuff so I, I, I just got cold feet or cold tentacles I don't know I did what I had to do sorry darling world's not ending today I think we should see other people but why was I not good enough did you have a bad time on our date <gasps> you mean no not really it, it was Fun getting terrorized in my room and making jokes about you, but you know all good things have to come to an end Is there is there another woman? No, no, I just I mean maybe is there any other around I could really like this game to continue and actually go somewhere No, none of that it, it, it was pretty much just that you were going to end all of reality And, and I'm a uh, Fan of reality? <laughs> nope, that's it. You know, that's the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place. I, I, I didn't think that you were going to end reality. I was just looking for consent. <laughs> Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? For a second there, I, I thought you were going to be remorseful and kind of understand my side of things, but nope, that's a threat. If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, a squid is fine too. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> Well, there's the good enough ending. We clearly need to see the best or worst ending. We'll finish the date. We're back to the point just before I cast the ritual that made a rock and titties disappear. And this time we're gonna do the final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person. Never go anywhere without it. Chant five times to fill the heart. Easy enough. I've grown quite good at chanting with the blah 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 blah
I don't think the chanting did. Oh, that's the ritual knife. Okay, yeah, not a big fan of the stabbies. Really hoping she appreciates this. Ooh. Yeah, that, that that one hurt. That that one was deep. Mm. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. The dream as in reality or the dream of us ever getting anywhere? That look on your face. Confusion? Disappointment? <laughs> I don't know, I can't really see myself right now. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. Oh, I know. It obviously wasn't because of you. You didn't do anything. So why destroy me? And all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Something along those lines. Or, you know... Why not just send me off with a bang? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Yeah. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No, but those dreams didn't exist. They weren't real. Like, that's that's the big difference here. Is Otherwise, if they were real, I would have actually done terrible, terrible things to you by now. <laughs> Why is that so hard for you to understand? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Oh, right, the smooch. Lock her up, my darling. You've earned it. Yay. Please tell me you've got lips under there. Do you have a beak? Oh, I just thought about that. That'd be extra. Can you ink out your face? <laughs> is now not the time to ask these questions? Is this romantic? Should I be... Are you going to come 90% and I come 10% or is it just like, just, oh, no, wait, I got to smooch. There it is. Well, we got all true endings. That is the awake ending. We definitely got our smooch. Doesn't look like I actually got turned into... An eldritch god, of course not, because then I would get out of this. And sweet Jesus, she's got a dumper like a truck. But you know, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Sucker for Love, guys. And it's like I've said in the past, I don't really like visual novels. I find that they're really boring because all you do is read and then imagine what's happening. But in this, stuff actually happens, and there's actual gameplay, and the voice acting is surprisingly good. And like, I, I just hope people enjoyed it. So I thought it was a great game. I thought it was really charming and really funny, and not overly gratuitous or gross or anything like that. So it's perfectly fine for YouTube and. I had a good laugh playing it. It was just great. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and maybe I'll be able to find more weird stuff like this. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.